Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Taylor, Michigan with the Sovtard known as Eric Martin as he was supposed to make a court appearance a couple days ago but failed to appear and now the judge is not exactly happy with him and his Sovtard buffoonery, especially when it comes to jurisdiction and, well, Eric gets put in his place once again. So let's go ahead and sit back Relax and enjoy the show. People versus Eric Martin. Mr. Martin, uh, you're back uh, on the, for a settlement conference on this misdemeanor matter. First thing I want to ask you, sir, uh, is I have a court-appointed attorney available. If you would like a court-appointed attorney, I'm just double-checking again because you do have a constitutional right to a court-appointed attorney. Would you like a court-appointed attorney? Your Honor, don't you know who this is? This is Eric Martin, a very uh, misinformed sovtard who believes that he knows the law better than you do. So he doesn't need no stinking uh, court-appointed attorney because they're nothing but corporate shills that are out to, uh, well, make money for the court system and to make sure you, well, him, end up in prison. I mean, well, that's according to his mindset. No. I'm sorry? No, I don't know a uh, court-appointed attorney. You, you do not want a court-appointed attorney? Uh, you, you're breaking up on your end, so that's why, I, it's, that's, that's why I continue asking. So if you could also indicate with your head, like in a yes or no fashion, do you want, so you're indicating no. Okay, let the record reflect that. All right, so I see that uh, today is the uh, date and time set for the jury trial, which says clearly in person. Matter of fact, it's even color coded. The, the notice that was sent out is color coded, as you can see in purple. It says in person. And then uh, it says right there Tuesday, 2nd of April, 8 30. And in person proceedings. And it even shows the address right there. 23365 Goddard Road. And I'm curious as to why you're on Zoom and you're not here in my courthouse for this jury trial. Let me guess. It's a jurisdiction issue again, right? That you don't fully understand the uh, jurisdiction question? Well, dude, to put it simply, the uh, violation was committed in Taylor, Michigan, and it therefore it has to be taken care of in Taylor, Michigan. Is that simple enough for you, or do we need to slow it down for you? No, I actually have the uh, notice that says today's, uh, and I can show you this on my phone. I have the schedule for this is considered a notice. I have. So you're supposed room, to be. Have, you're supposed to be here in the courtroom. Oh, I have. Not on like Zoom. I said, Not on Zoom. I'll show so, you that here. Did you hear me? All right. So if, uh, if you'd like, I have Mr. Greg, I have the prosecutor, Mr. Greco. The two of you would like to speak in a breakout room for any possible resolution. I got no problem with that. But if not, I'm going to have to adjourn this matter. I'm telling you right now, the next date that you're coming is you're going to be coming in person for the trial here at the court at 23365 Goddard Road, Taylor, Michigan, 48180. All right. So, would you like to would you like to speak with Mr. Greco for any potential just settlement negotiation? I don't know problem talking with him. Yes. Um, sure. All right. Let me get it clear from you. You, you said I didn't get that date. Your your audio your audio is 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 of poor quality, sir. And it's very hard to hear you. So, are uh, you asking okay, me for the address? You're asking me for the address. No, I know you guys. I live in Taylor. I'm alive. Uh, not within the I, corporation. Oh, not within the corporation of Taylor. Dude, there is no corporation of Taylor. It is the city of Taylor, which is a government. And you need to learn the difference between government and corporation. Because that's exactly where you're going wrong here is you don't understand the difference. 
But of course, what else can I expect from a uh, lead paint drinking uh, soft hard with a uh, well, his head too far up his ass? Let the record reflect that I, I literally can't understand anything he's saying. Can anybody else say what you said that he lives in Taylor, in Taylor all his life? You live in Taylor all your life, and you under, you know where the court is. Can you hear me better now? Yes, much better, much better. Yes. Uh, the uh, and now it's going now it's going in and out now it's going in and out so all right so hopefully mr greco can hear you better i'm going to put the two of you into a breakout room next time you're going to be coming if, you, if there is no resolution today and i'm not saying that to say that you must come to some resolution today but if there is no resolution today this is going to be set for the jury trial that you requested and that is here in person at the courthouse so the next time you come in for this case it's going to be here at the courthouse Here's a breakout room, uh, breakout room prosecutor one, and I'll put uh, you and Mr. Greco in there. But, but I want to make it clear, but I want to ask you, though. Um... Hang on. Go ahead and talk to the prosecutor first. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, Mr. Greco, Mr. Martin, this is case. Uh, case is 231510OT. People versus Eric Martin, case 23TA 18605B, 23TA uh, 18605C, and then 231510. Uh, okay, so that's uh, there. Good. So, Mr. Greco, you had the opportunity to speak with Mr. Martin. Was there any resolution in this matter? No, Your Honor, there was not a resolution. There was a plea offer that was made that was rejected by Mr. Martin. Uh, I then asked Mr. Martin if he wants a, uh, I guess he wants a trial in the matter, and he would not, uh, uh, he indicated he wouldn't consent to the jurisdiction of this court. So, Well, gee, uh, he would not consent to the jurisdiction of the court. Uh, dude, whether you like it or not, you are under the jurisdiction of that court court because you live in the area therefore you are part of the uh, judicial system over there nobody's above the law in this country nobody not even you well first off uh, you committed the crime in in the city of taylor i have jurisdiction it's literally as simple as that it's constitutional as could be mr martin i explained it to you before i've explained it to you um, on, on other occasions about jurisdiction you're your reading of jurisdiction or wherever you're getting this idea of how jurisdiction works is woefully wrong. Um, the, the, we have constitutional jurisdiction. You committed a crime in the jurisdiction. We have jurisdiction. We have impersonal jurisdiction over you. You availed yourself of the of the uh, of the jurisdiction, and you and you're domiciled in Taylor as well. So there's literally every single reason to give have jurisdiction. Well, there you go, Savtar. The judge can't break it down any simpler than that. I mean, but of course, uh, none of us here speak fluent uh, dumbass anyway, so there's a possibility that he might not have comprehended how simple that concept was. Now, uh, we're, so we're going for a jury trial. The uh, I'm going to mail out the uh, date to set this for the jury trial. Your Honor, if I might, um, Jeffrey yes. um I, We were originally assigned to Mr. Martin, and I came in. You were talking to him, so I'm assuming that he has uh, chosen to act as his own. Company. That is correct. Okay, so, Mr. But, but, but since you're right here, let me just double check to see, uh, Mr. Martin. Just for confirmation, you are you do not want House Counsel help assisting you. Is that correct? No, sure don't, because I don't. Uh, I don't waive my right to a Republican form of government, and. It, what? Wait. Uh, what did you say? You waive your right to the Republican form of government? Uh, dude, the Republican form of government is the government. You don't have a right to it. That's what the Founding Fathers chose. A republic, you dumbass. Thank you, Judge. Okay. I'm make the record. Sure. Yeah. Attorney to All right. To so we are going to uh, get the uh, date and time. Uh, it's mailed out to you. You need to appear in person. In person, that means your body corporeally in this building, not on Zoom, not by any other means or anything like that. Physically, actually, 
present in space and time here at the courthouse. All right? That's what in-person means. So we'll see you in person for the jury trial. You'll be getting notice in the mail, sir. You'll get notice in the mail, sir. But I want to say, well, Your Honor, I have this feeling that it's not exactly going to go away the way you think with this soft heart. He's not going to uh, just walk right in there unassisted by bailiffs. Uh, something tells me that uh, the next time we see him, he uh, will have skipped out on the court date and be escorted in via handcuffs because that's the only way you're going to get him in there. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?